quite a breezy night in Istanbul. Free kick which Andrea Pirlo will take. And it's volleyed, and it's his! And this time he's got Crespo in support. Here's Erna Crespo, 2-0. Pass two for Crespo, and what a goal that is. What a goal that is. So, Shavi, thank you very much for, for joining my Beyond Victory podcast. It's really cool. And we managed to find the time eventually. <laughs> Pleasure, Nico. Busy, Great to be here. Busy schedules. You were saying that when you used to come here with the big clubs with Real Madrid, there was the fans like amazing or what? Yeah, they were amazing. When, uh, whenever you come with Madrid, with Liverpool, with Bayern to, to the Asian countries, they, they are so passionate. <laughs> and they spend hours and hours in the lobby uh, waiting, waiting for the team to come out. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's massive the support and how many people the market is unbelievable here and sometimes there was you said there was what up to a thousand fans in up the lobby up to thousands <laughs> yeah 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 really, complete really. chaos and they are f 24 hours there <laughs> and and even you want you want to get close but there are so many that you can cover so uh, <laughs> big big problems with the security many times <laughs> yeah but it was great to be here well wow, that's cool um, I, I guess it's <laughs> in the formula one could be similar yeah. I don't think that extreme. No? no, 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 no. We have a lot of fans as well, but not yeah. not so much. I think soccer is is in Asia a different different level. No, no, because then yeah, the brands are so big worldwide. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and here they are getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to start because we have a lot of similarities. Uh, I found when I was uh, doing all the research. And for example, we have uh, the father similarity. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. I followed exactly in the footsteps of my father, even going to the same team. Yeah. He was the world champion with uh, Williams. I started from one with Williams and with the same team owners. They were all still there. And you, uh, your dad was a big, uh, big legend from uh, uh, Real Sociedad. Yeah, that's what's yeah, yeah. yeah. it's our hometown And that's where team. you, and that's where yeah. you started as well. Yeah. Can you take uh, take me through just like how was that um, growing up with with your dad being such a superstar in that space, and how did he manage that with you? Uh, he's been a role model for me, always as a professional, as a father, as a person, because he's been very, you know. He was really focused on his game, on, on the game, but at the tam same time he was really humble. And he, the way he he used to deal with with the pressure, with the people, so it was a great example for me. And and being able to live that since I was a kid, I think that helped me to become a a professional and to to be able to deal with difficult situations, with the pressure, with the fame, uh, with with the injuries, when you are playing, when you are not playing. So being able to live it so closely helped me a lot in my in my career. But at the same time he wasn't he wasn't pushing myself to, to become a professional. He was very supportive but not very very invasive. So yeah for me it's for me and my brother it, it was really helpful. Oh, that's cool to hear. So first to get the experience because yes. when you're young you already lived it kind of yeah. through through your dad. I think that and then it's Especially in the in the early years when you are becoming professional, when everything is new, if you don't have had an experience, it's uh, maybe extreme, it's difficult huh? to deal with the with so this extreme. 
with suddenly the fame comes, yeah. the money comes, and if you are 18, 19, it's difficult to have your your head very like be mature at that age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the environment around you helps you helps you a lot. Can you show uh, share some examples of like young talents that you've seen? That have just gone completely no uh, not names not of course names. Eh? Don't, no 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 names no, but just but examples of of things you've seen when suddenly they start earning a hundred thousand per week yeah, yeah. and uh, the father comes wants money the mother comes wants money and it just turns into it's a casino the prototype is they they always go with wherever they go they go with an entourage of friends or family and they always uh, put so much pressure on him that everyone is behind him and that they're life depends on, on on the player and that puts so much pressure and when things no, don't go right those people may, maybe they are not their supporting and and it's it's very common in, in the football in the football world that's that has happens to to young players it's hard huh? it's, yeah it's and they really start spreading no? money and they don't they don't look after you know y you are making good money for a few years but you you know that when you are 35 more or less that that uh, the new life starts and to to deal i i am i have been <laughs> just been there i have retired a couple of years ago and uh, to make that step many f uh, football players they they don't deal well with that situation as well so it's yeah. it's a big challenge as a life i don't know that's for sure well i can i can, yeah, yeah. I can understand yeah, yeah. A, a lot of it but of you course it's what you've done or what i have just done to to make that transition in a wool way, it's uh, you need to think a lot about it and take the decision very, very rationally. Yeah, rationally. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And when you, I think that when you take the decision, when when football doesn't kick you out, you deal better with uh, with the situation because if you want to continue but no one wants you, it it can be hard for someone. You you think that because uh, uh, your your post that you made when you retired yeah. was uh, yeah. what was it I gave I loved it I gave everything I yeah. lived it and yeah. and beautiful game yeah yeah bye yeah. bye beautiful yeah, game yeah, I said it uh, lived but it loved it uh, farewell beautiful game yeah and yeah. so if it's so beautiful you d you stopped just because you felt rash rationally that it would be dangerous for you to end in a way that you get kicked out yes absolutely. for your mental uh, yeah yeah for myself I have always wanted to leave uh, rather than being kicked out something yeah. like something like that um, and because of that and i w i prefer as well to to play at the highest level possible La even my last year i wanted that i didn't want to to go somewhere where i didn't have that that hunger or that really passion to to play and and that's why i took the decision rationally i could play maybe one year a couple of more years or but better better earlier than earlier than than too late that's cool so again, ah, yeah, yeah. again we and did exactly we did exactly the same thing and really there's not many that that decided in 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 such a way yeah. and also from my experience i can say 100 percent for myself amazing yeah. it's just it's just perfect <laughs> it's amazing yeah, yeah. it's really and, amazing. and i think that i talk about this with with philip lam yeah and he was he had some similar ideas as well. What he did with the national team, what he did yeah, with yeah, Bayern. Yeah. He wanted to take that decision and you know, that's why, you know, I said you I, I, I admire him him a lot and what you did to live there, it's a, it's it's the toughest. Just going back a little bit, um, I, th I think we're maybe one of your toughest challenges, which, which would be nice to go into as well as a young player, you were 21, 22, and you make the step from your home country, yeah. from your environment, from your yeah, space, yeah, yeah. suddenly to go to the UK, to Liverpool, into the crazy Premier League, yeah, yeah, super yeah. aggressive. Um, can you take, take us through a little bit of that, how, well how that was for you as a human being as well? Uh, it was, it was going to be the, the time to test myself if I was ready for the, for the big for the big leagues, for the for the big guys, to challenge with the big guys. And that was your dream? I want to challenge yeah, yeah, the big yeah, guys? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I came from my hometown team. Uh, we almost win the league with Real Sociedad. That it's a it was almost a miracle. We were so close till the last game. We had the, a good chance. And we played Champions League with my hometown team. So that was like a dream. But 
it was time to to make another challenge and to try something 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 else and and liverpool we were it was like a new project new start and to be part from the first from the from the first year with rafa benitez to this new project it was a challenge for me and he gave me a lot of confidence as well but uh, testing myself if i was going to be re ready for that level uh, that's that's what i wanted you know not to to be here try to to go always a little bit farther but can you explain that a little bit more like what is the what is the drive because it's really high risk to go into to go to england yeah, to yeah, the yeah. best of the best well coming from the outside what what is the drive that you have you you want to push into the most difficult situations yeah, yeah i to want grow to grow or to you want to be the best in the world or what was the yeah, the drive to, to compete with the best and to be with the best and and i had the chance to to do that in liverpool because uh you know for me uh, being being able to challenge for the Premier League, for the Champions League, you know, I I had that hunger, that motivation, that I believed that I could do, but I had to to deliver, and not just with the opponents, with your teammates as well. You need to earn your 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 starting position on the on the team, and and you need to be team player, but you need to be selfish somehow a little bit, and to to believe in in yourself, be not arrogant, but but have that confidence or that is team to to go a little bit it's massive self-belief but with being humble yeah yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's right you have to that's the that's the, the ingredient the motivation the the confidence but you know not not going too far i think and did you, you have, have to wait, control it were you scared to make this step because you don't oh know no. you don't really know premier league it could be completely zero, different zero scare not scared C zero zero fright i think really yeah yeah zero i think i was very very motivated very focused i was just 22 wow. so i had my whole career in ahead of me and i didn't know what was going to happen big cojones though, huh? yeah 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 you need to have <laughs> I'm not gonna, i don't translate <laughs> that <laughs> it means <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's what you want when you are competing and you have the chance and now i miss those moments of course i have retired but i miss when i see quarter final semi-final champions league of course it was. <laughs> I said, oh, I would love to be there again, <laughs> but but I I've lived my share, fair enough, long enough. I've been lucky to do, but still, you know, the thrill of the game, the the electricity of the the full stadiums, and you are, you are there is so much at stake, and a lot to win, but a lot to lose as well. And normally, to win is normally the exception, so you need to deal with the, with the losses as well, the defeats, and that's hard. But uh, I, I, there were no words to, to you know, uh, after a defeat. It w I just needed time and the next game. Um, you said that humanly it was really tough on you to make the switch to England as a Spanish guy coming yeah. into this new world. Yeah, how, how did you cope with that? I, I, I dealt quite well. I, uh, I went with, with my girlfriend. We could speak English because some of the Spanish lads that were coming, they struggled with the language, so it made that made easier and i was really you know really open minded i wanted to learn quickly i wanted to adapt but yes it was you know at till that age i was living in with my parents i was playing professional but uh, i was 21 and i was still li i had my house and living with my parents because i was on my own and it was a um, uh, uh, personal challenge as well to be able to to do for my own but i dealt it you say i'm, I'm uh, quite impressed or, or or that you say no pressure no no fear of failure and things um because you had nothing to lose what about let's wind forward 10 years now you had built a you were one of the greatest soccer players uh, playing for big teams did that change then did you then have fear of failure because there was a lot to lose because uh, people never. expected you to perform and, and be yeah. the best? Never fear. No? Never. Jeez, never you're fear. a machine. Yeah? No, no, no. But you can't... Because the if if you have fear, th they uh, that controls you. And I, I learned to deal with the nerves, with the motivation, but not the fear. Because uh, those nerves, I needed them to, to play it on my, my best, on my best. But uh, I was never scared. And... I knew that I had to deal with with the fields if 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 that was coming, 
but always next and next and next never looking back always looking forward <laughs> okay dear dear listener uh, don't worry even if you do have fear you can still have a lot of <laughs> yeah, success yeah, yeah. Huh? no it's no no because <laughs> <'cause laughs> I had a lot of fear of failure for yeah. example yeah yeah a lot always uh, and I still manage to have huge success so yeah. um, I think there's there's two ways because yeah, yeah, for me yeah. the fear of failure was the most powerful motivator that I can ever imagine mm -hmm. it made me go to places where I didn't think I would be able yeah. to bring that discipline, that focus, yeah. and a lot of it is from fear of failure. Yeah. So I'm actually, th in the end, now I'm thankful yeah, 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 for yeah. having fear no of no failure. No, no, because it you need to deal with situations and you need to, to find somehow the motivation with fear or self-controlling or with dealing with the nerves, but uh, you need to, to cope with that. It's fantastic. Um, I would like to jump into the most legendary Champions League final yeah. the world has ever seen. <laughs> um, can you? Uh, I mean, it would just be really nice to hear a little bit taking us through there. So well I think I would like. I would quite like to start like goal two, goal three. The dream is disappearing. Yeah. Well you know, you had never it won. It comes from from early because the road, the road to Istanbul was amazing as well, because we were so close to to not qualify for the for the next round in group stage to go out. We scored in the last minute. Uh, Steven Gerrard scored the last minute to make to the last sixteen. We beat Juventus, we beat a super Chelsea in semi-final that it was an unbelievable... And the final it was like unexpected because no one expected us to reach the final. So for us it was like a, a big, big... Uh, uh, not surprise, but like a big opportunity, big chance that we had. And from the beginning to start, first minute 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, we were like so angry with ourselves. Uh, somehow depressed at half time, but uh, we we found out out of nowhere that 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 belief and that uh, self spirit to that spirit to to keep fighting. But you say out of nowhere, Can, it, nothing yeah, happened in the you in don't the have cabin? reasons. You don't have reasons to believe when you are three zero <laughs> and you are playing shit <laughs> to to beat and to come back against a Super Milan. But uh, the first goal, it was like, wow, now we have something to, to hold and something to believe in. And the second one, wow, really, this is happening. It was like a, a, a boost, a boost for us. And in the third one, when the penalty, I, I knew that I had to take a penalty. And I said, wow, Xavi, this is, <laughs> this is the moment. This is Still the moment. Still no fear of failure. Uh, big, big responsibility. Big, big responsibility. But... <laughs> Big, uh, the, te the tension, the wow, nerves. Wow, Shabby. <laughs> they say, wow, Shabby, this is, this is the one. This is the moment. <laughs> and, and of course, when, when, I, when I saw the, that he saved the penalty and, and I got the rebound, I don't know what, what, what went through my mind. But, my but at the moment, when I think or I see it, it's even now a big relief that I got the rebound because wow, going that far and not, not, able, not yeah. being able to reach it would have been really, really painful. And probably my career will have will have changed, wow, but yeah, but geez. but it was so intense, so intense, and the drama of the penalties and f not not fear, but f so so much. I was like empty after the game. I was empty, you know, that I had given everything emotionally, like so 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 uh, so much tension, b and and that used to happen in the in the big games, you know, because. F you are fighting for big things, you I, course, I yeah. guess, for you in a race. Yeah, how yeah, how yeah, did same. you feel? When no, you same, eh? same. <laughs> of course. Eh? Totally <laughs> extreme. Totally, <laughs> totally I, extreme. I guess that you feel <laughs> empty, no? Uh, uh, destroyed. Eh? Completely mentally destroyed. Uh, for the but you have the phys yeah, physical as well. No, it's the same. Completely destroyed. No, but for you, I think that you needed more concentration. Eh? Because our things, Us, are yeah, there is more, yeah. you know, you can't control everything. But, yeah. well, of course, you can't control it. But the concentration on other is... Probably, yeah? yeah, probably. Yeah. Also during the whole weekend because yes. we have data, we have this, that, analysis, driving two hours, possibly mentally. Um, uh, uh, I think that uh, probably yeah. mentally is more demanding. Physically yeah. as well, but I think that mentally... No, no, but physically will be more your, yours, no? Huh? It's different, I think. Eh? No? You need to be really fit, no? To yeah, yeah, of eh? course, of course. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, we would lose four liters of sweat in two hours. Yeah, yeah. Fernando Alonso, once he came out of the car, he went... Yeah. Gone finished the, the eyes were gone yeah because just so dehydrated and you're always lying down and then you get up and the blood goes down and yeah. finished end of, end of story uh, no, so no the hot races is uh, is really really demanding 
Yeah. Um, and is more st stamina or strength that you need for driving a ball? It's resisting. It's it's resisting to the heat. Resisting, it's resisting to, the heat. to the heat. That's the big one. That's the because big one. Because you have the overalls. You have no air coming in, and also the not breathing well. Because you have the seat belts really tight, so you can't open your lungs, and you have to hold your breath in the corners. Because you have five G, you uh. can't breathe. You have to. <laughs> you have to uh, keep the car in control, you block everything. So <laughs> half the lap, you're not <laughs> you're not breathing. So it's the not breathing with the extreme heat and the the full body tension of holding yourself in position. That's the that's the physically. So most uh, of the strength has to be here or legs as well. Mm, right, it's a lot on the upper body. Upper so the body? neck, the the shoulders. Yeah. Um, and then the arms as well, because even when you're braking, you have 5G on the braking, yeah, 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 yeah. and you need to push against the steering wheel. Otherwise, you just uh, hang there like you need uh, to, yeah, yeah. You have to p block yourself block all yourself. the time. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so that's the the whole demanding one is that, and also the braking, because you have to slam the brake as hard as you can. Yeah. It's maximum uh, maximum input, pa <laughs> every time. No, no, so no. that's the. Um, even when I w have gone with friends to the karting. Yeah. After 20 minutes, I'm, I I come f out from the from the car <laughs> and I am so tired. So yeah, but the shocking thing is me too at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I go karting now, yeah. I, uh, five laps, I'm finished. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what happened to me after I retired? I lost the you know. Normally, you are training four days a week, games, yeah. bam, 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 yeah. and and I lost the strength in in one in two months. My my legs were, <laughs> you know, I, really? I didn't have that power that I used to have. Yeah. Wasn't that a shit realization? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're shit, you're shit. getting no, old. No, no, I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone. I want to go sprint <laughs> and I can't. It's over. And I can't. So no. It's over. So then I, I started training hard again. I had the same. Yeah, yeah. I had exactly the same. Yeah. So for me, it was I went to zero training because I never liked training. It was always horrible. And, uh, and so I stopped everything. And then I realized that my uh, resting heart rate went 10 uh, up. 10. 10. From 42 to 52 yeah, yeah, yeah. and during the day i could feel that it's just completely inefficient the yeah, system no, no, no. and i was like no no this i don't <laughs> accept <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> my whole life becoming inefficient yeah, yeah, yeah. like this no so then i went back to uh yeah, yeah. back into I training thought, okay no. i left and I, I stopped playing and i said ah, okay i'm not gaining weight i know i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine no no you are losing the, uh, the whole the whole muscle the to whole tension and <laughs> and i started back <laughs> training back <laughs> That's funny. Uh, one more time to the final, please. In the in the in the uh, changing time, what the hell do you call it? Half time. Half time. Gerard or something. There was no uh, like message we can give to the listener here of something inspirational that no. gave you the little bit of belief again that maybe it's still possible. No, it was uh, Rafa's. Ra uh, Rafa Benitez yeah, was Rafa. A, was a manager, and his his speech was quite quite rational. He wasn't very motivating speech. Unusually rational. No, no, always Russian. Always. Rafa okay, wasn't, Russian wasn't, uh, is not mot motivating, it's very rationally, rational. not okay, very, yeah. like, yeah. very uh, intense. Yeah. But he made some tactical changes, and we started controlling much better the game with some tactical changes. We were playing with back five instead of back four. Yeah. So uh, that change was the key of the game. So it nothing over the mental, just no rational, no no tactical no. improvement. That's what turned it that around. That turned it around. Wow, you that's know, and, and And the first goal. Because you know, I think that uh, the first goal was when uh, when you had, and I now I am coaching, and I always say to 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 my players when whenever you are losing, which, are, ki which are kids by the way at yeah. the moment, huh? which, which are, are the yeah, young yeah. kids, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you uh, just won under fourteen, under fourteen, nice, yeah. and and it's it's when when you are losing again this season or in the future, you just need a goal. When you are coming back, you just need a goal to change to change the mentality. With one go uh, the other ones will uh, start fearing what they have, and you will have something to believe in. W you are losing three nil. Don't worry. One goal can change the 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 mood of the game. That's the same in Formula One. At the moment, it's Sebastian Vettel. Mm -hmm. He's he's having a disastrous time. Yeah. Last year, disaster. This year, still the same disaster. Spinning around just every yeah. time he's in a battle uh, and losing the race. And I always say that he just needs one clean yeah. weekend, one win, yeah. and he will be back on yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. So it's not uh, it's not much that it will take to s to take the no no. to take the negative spiral out and go straight uh, straight up. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Very it's just uh, a, mi a moment can change everything. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. In the sport. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably also in life. Surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in life. Surely well. also <laughs> in <laughs> life <laughs> that it can be just uh, small yeah. moments that can make uh, the huge difference. You've seen you've seen the greatest coaches in the world. Which one? Uh, which one was your? Can you say was the one that you felt the strongest connection to, or or you appreciated the style most? Well, which works uh, most best for you? I had 
I had because of my position, I needed to understand what was going on in the game, and and trying to to understand what the the manager wanted from from the from the team and from my from myself. So uh, with Rafa, I learned a lot. With Mourinho, he was a, a huge motivator. He's tough also, though. No? He's tough, and he pushes People you hard. Scared. He pushes you. He, he demands the best. He has the same for himself, but for you, if you don't give hundred <laughs> percent and you, you don't fight for it, uh, <laughs> he's, he pushes you really hard, and that's good. And that's good. You think that's good, yeah? It doesn't yeah, go yeah, too yeah. much sometimes that people start to be scared. Mm, you need to know the player. I think that the message can't be the same for you or, or for him. I think that you need to to be able to to graduate that. And does Mourinho is he able to graduate that or uh, is it just a he one is way but <laughs> one he's way for everybody? He's he's her. He's so maybe some players uh, will struggle with that uh, attitude. Some players, yeah. Some players, yeah. Uh, they are able to take whatever. The ones that are not as machine like you. No, no I'm not. Uh, <laughs> no machine. But, <laughs> but I want. I I I liked to be pushed. Yeah. I I didn't want. Uh, the managers when when. Uh, it's too easy. The preparation. No, no, no. Because I liked to get ready as well as possible, and I think that. You need a proper lead and you need a proper planification strategies to to get ready for the game and and as well with with pep i think that he had a bit of both he was great motivator as, as a human being he was really really intense really passionate and he was a great strategist uh, strate strat strategist 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 about the game about uh, what we had to do to play good football about the little details, he was bang. And I, le I learned a lot la my last years in, in Munich with him. So would you maybe say that, that he's the one that resonated best with you because he had the best of both worlds, was really uh, able to push? He was really good, yeah. yeah. For me, he was really, you know, very uh, a great a great last challenge for me. You know, but all of them, you, I think that you can't pick just one. I think that all yeah. of them, they some of them, they are more like, man they deal better with the man management and that's, in the football, it's that's fundamental as a as a, as a coach. Managing as a manager, a human. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you need to to earn his confidence and to be close, but push as well. So that balance, the ba where if you get the balance is is the key, I think. But because you need to to deal first with the person, and later with the with the football player. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's uh, not only in sports, though. No. I think also in in high no, performance business in or, a, in or, a, or everywhere in an, in an office. If, sure if you don't, you are yeah. not able to to yeah. have everyone motivated, it's it's hard to uh, at the end not to fight. They have to fight for you, not against you. And if you are when you reach that that uh, uh, that commitment, is when you when your team can per perform. So well. is this maybe one of the biggest ingredients then from like someone like Pep Guardiola that he's able to show the players compassion? Yes, and and, and this and this and he's able to. Uh, you have he's able to you know he has his ideas, and he th he thinks those are the best ideas or the best style to play to win the games and being able to to convince you 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 twenty five guys that this is the one. Wow, <laughs> that's not easy. Eh? Especially 25 who have their own yeah, head, yeah, huh? who, are, who have already won, <laughs> who are already uh, experts. Five leagues, two Champions League, World Cup winners. <laughs> to be able for them to say, "Eh, listen, I am the boss here, and you have to do this." That's that's it. That does not easy. Eh? Is there many arguments then, or what? And people say, "Hey, this is bullshit. This is this cannot work." Or nah. you learn to respect, and you no, have no, to you normally you have respect. to follow the. You have to just have to follow, and there's no choice. Yeah, you can't you be individuals. No, you no, no. You ha and you have to follow the group, and that's why the group needs to be strong. And that's why, in the in a change room, uh, twenty four, twenty five guys. But to be a group of leaders, oh, I mean, it's important for the rest to look at the o those guys. And this, if these are these are the leaders, the captains, we need to follow what 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 they su say or what how they behave. Why do you say captains? There's many leaders. I mean, in, in, a, the, in, in the 24 people, I mean, not captains of Armand, but yeah. a group of, uh, you know, the the ones that uh, they naturally have the position nationally themselves. or they have the weight or the uh, not the weight, the, the position yeah, 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 okay. of, of, you know, of being like the ones that they have been there more in the club or that. So that's give me that's example, very important. Give me the example then at the end of your time in Real, when I who are the who were the leaders, the captains? It was you, it was Ronaldo. And no, I think that with 
Cristiano, with Iker, with Ramos, with Arbeloa, with Pepe, you know, we were close to, we were 28, yeah. 26, that between 26 to 30, so, so we were still competing, we, were, we could play, but at the, at the same time we could, you know, we could uh, like have that responsibility, the yeah. others one that they had to follow us. Na does that happen naturally? Or is that yeah, sort yeah. of uh, no, given? No, 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 it's natural, it's natural. It ha happens that naturally. Has, that has to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's that responsibility that you need to, to take, you know, because the youngs that they have uh, 18, 19, 20, they, they need to have uh, like someone to, to, to look or, or from whom to learn. And I think that's that's from the ones that they have been more more time there. Yeah, that's a big difference to uh, our sport where you're just on your own yeah. out there. You yeah. feel completely on your own. And even more so in my case, my biggest enemy yeah. <laughs> was sitting on the table opposite. <laughs> yeah, 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 know, yeah. In the inside our team, yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a, that was very extreme and, and quite different, I think. Quite a different different dynamic then. No, because um, everyone is in your, your sport. Everything is focused on you. And, and yeah. in whereas if you I could have a bad game, but we could win the game. If you have a bad day, boom, you lose. For so that's that's different. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. different. Yeah. Um, going to uh, going to Real. Um, it's like is it a, is it a different pressure because it's just so big, and it's in your home country. Yes, it's a very big big pressure to play in Real. And when I was when I went to Liverpool that summer, uh, I was close to go to Real as well. Okay. Is this uh, exclusive, exclusive news on my podcast, or uh, almost somehow, signed, somehow, almost, yeah. almost signed for Real instead of Liverpool? <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost, yeah, 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 almost. That's <laughs> that's coming out. <laughs> uh, but probably, uh, and I signed uh, five years. I played five five years in, li in Liverpool, and I went back to uh, and I went back to Spain. But I was much much more mature. I had already lived. Uh, big uh, big games big experiences so that helped me a lot to play for real because in real you are i was with uh, that si that year we signed with cristiano with benzema with kaka so it was a massive new project as well uh, the second time of florentino there yeah. and to have that uh, that credit that respect it helped me a lot on the on the pitch you know because i had i had already shown that i could oh, yeah, play yeah. at the highest level yeah. not that i had to prove yeah, Maybe yeah. I, uh, when I went to Liverpool, people didn't know me that much. For yeah, and in England, not much, of course. So uh, five years later, I had already won Champions League, uh, won the Euro, won. The I had already uh, won many things, and to establish myself in the midfielder of of Madrid, you know, everyone had confidence on me, and you need to feel it. Yeah. yeah. One uh, one big difference to our sport is that when we we are closed, we have our helmet, we're alone. There's no yeah. fans. You feel alone out there. Yeah. You see a little bit that there's a lot of people, uh. but you don't experience them. But you guys, you're next to the guys, and we yeah, just yeah, saw yeah. Uh, Mo Mohamed Salah. No, yeah. Mo, 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 Mo Salah. Salah, yeah, Mo, Mo Salah. Salah. He just got huge racist yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aggress aggressivity from the fans that are ten meters away. Isn't yeah. that is that just not so extreme, or do you manage to block that off with time, or uh, no, how that do you, how that do you live that? That was really extreme. No, of course I know that this, was but, really but let's take your cases, which maybe are not quite so extreme, but still you will ev always get fans uh, uh, when shouting when you're rubbish and when you're gonna lose. Whenever, uh, uh, whenever we had to play, for example, with Madrid yeah. in Barcelona, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, they were chanting against us, insulting, but, but you, you, how you, you deal, deal with, with that? that. You deal with that. That's no problem. At the, at the end with the years you you're about to take the free kick and they're telling you you're a complete idiot no problem no problem <laughs> come on <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> no problem at Jesus. all we, uh, we you get used to that at Jesus. the beginning you say come on uh, but the be t 10 years later you you i think i'm happy you I, ch I chose the right yeah, sport. You, you, you i would never turn and say something yeah. i don't <laughs> and they are of course and you hear terrible things but <laughs> No problem. Uh, uh, what happened to to Sala or or recently to to uh, Kino uh, from 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 Juventus races? That's 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 even harder, you know. 
Is enough being done against that at the moment, against this racism in soccer? Uh, no, no, we, we need to keep doing. We need to keep Are you involved uh, as well? Eh? You're involved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With UEFA, with things, uh, we always uh, like have campaigns against racism. Yeah. And we need has, to it ch has it shown that it works, these campaigns? It's shown, but still, you know, especially in certain uh, stadiums yeah. where, where there, is, there is still a lot of abuse. And, and they are taking taking uh, not policies uh, decisions yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, taking actions yeah uh, yeah. yeah against these actions okay um at at uh, at real who is working harder you or uh, cristiano <laughs> who is training harder you or cristiano uh, cristiano training harder C cristiano he's <laughs> training harder preparing himself he was a machine uh, he's a machine <laughs> he he loves testing himself and getting ready for for the game yeah, yeah. why, I, why I, I, I thought because he he had to be like fully fully ready because his game were more individual mine was more collective so i maybe i had to think more about the game but he had to prepare m more about his actions you know he was in the box so last that's why he's so so uh, so uh, so important in each team he goes and now the impact he's having in juventus is yeah. i'm sure that they are amazed the the way how professional he is and how how much motivation he has to to win? Yeah, yeah it's a machine, machine. But why? So why didn't you try? Uh, why didn't you train harder? You don't think you could have been an even better soccer player? Uh, no, 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 Half no. a percent more? No, yeah, yeah. But if you especially I, 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 see no, another no, but guy do it, I, 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 I th uh, no, because sometimes to train too much is is worse. Yeah, but okay, uh, that's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Are but you sure? Yeah. Are you sure for you it would have been yeah, worse? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I knew that I couldn't be on the gene pushing uh, no because that didn't work for myself no 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 I had to be fresh at especially the last my last years it was not about training too much it was about training lots of times you know the sessions could be one hour that was enough to get ready for the game it was more about recovering well train a little bit and get ready for the game and that's what I like at the end get play games that's why I like playing three games a week I don't mind uh, playing three games a week. It's just because the training is the the game, and you get fit and you get ready in the games. But he needed more power. <laughs> His game was different. I was so slow. I didn't have to train much because I was so slow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, but it's funny because I I watched the Conor McGregor um, uh, documentary. Have you watched that? No, I haven't. Ah, you ha you need to watch it. Yeah. Because they're also with these people. You often think. Oh, they're just showman, no, big no, talent. No, they don't no. work. They don't work hard. No, no, and no. the same with Cristiano. No, no. And Cristiano, then, he works but hard. then you see, no, no. These guys, no, they no, are no, the no. most. De de I mean, you of there's course a as well in your way, but there's a reason why they're yeah, so great. Yeah, there's a reason. Yeah. I think. And that this uh, sometimes and we forget. And the the great thing about Cristiano Messi is they are doing that consistently, and they are regular each season and this season. Not just one season, I score 50 goals. No, no. They are doing that, and and it's unbelievable what we are seeing from these guys nowadays in football. It's unbelievable. I don't know what's gonna happen in in three four years when they are not in football. <laughs> There's gonna be a big 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 gap to fill, and good luck to whoever wants to be there. Ah, but we always say that, and yeah. we've always seen the next step. For now, even in tennis, these uh, guys in, are in, in racing, these guys are here. Yeah, so and Messi, what trains as hard as uh, as Cristiano? Or is it I don't think so. More I don't talent. Is is he 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 prepares himself in a different way. I more like I you then. Uh, I would say I would say so. More like more talent or different way. Yeah. Interesting. Um, best player you said uh, you said um, one of the greatest players that you have respect for was was uh, Philip Lam. You told me the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all, of all players from your career, you would well, say yeah, but one. one you just them, take one. Well you would go Stevie G as well or Cristiano. Yeah, but let, let's Ramos. Go, let's no, go about Philip. Uh, I admire him before playing in Bayern. I had great admiration because we had played against each other many times, and his his attitude on the pitch, uh, of the pitch, he was top top player but he looked really not giving himself too much too much credit or too much importance and and like li i like i like i liked it and once i get to know him you know he didn't have to talk too much everyone to listen to him or he didn't have to do much everyone to know that what philip was doing was the, <laughs> the right thing and yeah 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 great guy 
But why? Th this is why because he has such a tactical understanding for the game as oh well, yeah, and, yeah, and an intelligence, or, yeah, or what is the? He had a natural intelligence of the game. He could play in any position, and he would always make the the right decisions. And and that's that's the most difficult because you don't have time, and you have to decide so quick. And I think that on the pitch, him and Busquets, for me, probably they they are the most tactical players I have ever played with. They have they always do one move because one reason because of this to gain this advantage or to to fi to find that space and 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 that's when you find one of those players it's it's a joy it's a, it's a joy to play with because they always it's that made my game much much easier you know that feels helped me like a lot feels like it feels like playing chess yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm gonna run instead of passing the ball now i'm gonna run three meters to pass the ball so he can get more advantage with the ball, my teammates, and and that's to to have that understanding of the game. It's it's fantastic. Wow, that's yeah. nice, nice to hear. Hey, but um, it's 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 like uh, now football in, is going there. It's like becoming like a chess chess game. I I do this movement, so the other one reacts this 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 way, but I need to anticipate that, so I will do this. So it's getting. Uh, sometimes too sophisticated uh, we are losing a little bit of uh, that irrationality of that talent but uh, well, i'm trying to understand now but that i'm becoming a coach but you have exactly that rationality and, and, and intelligence yourself so you yeah, yeah yeah yeah, you yeah. Think probably you can be you can become a really successful trainer then because you have, yeah, that, you yeah, have yeah. that approach no well I, I had always tried to not just to play the game to to understand it or to think about it and i some players they don't like watching games. I I loved watching watching games because I l I love the game and I love football. But now as a as a coach, uh, I am trying to uh, the the kids. They are kids. They are fourteen, but they understand many things. So th those those little things that make uh, the difference in a game for for them to understand why they are doing this. We are instead of passing, we are dribbling to gain advantage. So for them to to feel it, and that's made. Once they 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 feel it, it's much easier for the trainer. Are you studying a lot now? Watching? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Much more, much more. I am watching more games, and instead of watching, I am because you watch the game and you miss so many things. I I rewatch them, but with a computer, so I can stop. I can uh, move back, uh, play back to to see the little details. Do you start to use a lot of high technology analysis as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, average, yeah. average. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and space where there's where each player yeah, was most of the time. Yeah, and at, at this age, we don't have the GPS track. Yeah. But uh, when when you are uh, the professionals, they they always use. And you need to to be able to to manage the data in the right way because the data is you need to read it. Yeah. yeah. So this data means in this context. It doesn't mean uh, to run more is not to play better. Sometimes, if you run too much, it's yeah. because you have been chasing the ball and y yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you are not supposed yeah. to do that. So, yeah, but now it's with the cameras, with different perspectives, with with the distances between the players, with the the, the speed of the impact of the ball, how quick the passes. Bo the because of course, the, the the speed of the passes makes the difference, and and now they can measure. Uh, the average of the speed of the passes. So if you see that you are you, that you are uh, passing so slow, probably you are not gaining advantage, and you can measure these things. And and ten years ago, that was uh, science fiction in football. <laughs> But this is exactly this is what I love a lot about our sport. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these like tele using the telemetry to enhance your performance is yeah. in but our sport I guess is unbelievable. I, but I guess that it has been developing, and, of course, and yeah, it's yeah, non-stop. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because for us, on one qualifying lap, you know, we have all these buttons. Every corner, you r it requires a different set of button settings, oh because every corner is different, and you can you can influence so much the car, and the young drivers coming in, they don't have the capacity to yeah, think. Yeah, They're yeah. so consumed with trying to keep the car on yeah, the road, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't have capacity to think about every corner, new settings, and this is where the experience that makes a huge and difference. And when has when has started that big change? It's Schumacher. 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 Complete genius. Yeah. 
to go further than just driving fast to uh, to, un uh, to understand why he had to do unbelievable no? he ha he was able to read the data and say with these data I, I need to do this no? yeah but and but even more he was able to feel on the track <sighs> what was happening and knowing that what technology he needed to change it to make it better uh, yeah. what imperfections there were in the uh, yeah. in the car on the track we need to develop this technology because in this area that is going to make it better wow like the most incredible yeah. and i had him as my teammate for for three years so there i learned so much yeah. and it became uh, maybe i even took it to the next level yeah. and it became one of my biggest strengths then to use the technology uh, and, yeah. the, and the telemetry to to my advantage yeah, no. was really uh really powerful because that's it can be the the that deep little difference can be the key it's to win or to not to win two tenths per lap even two tenths. it's huge two tenths per lap easy yeah. huge yeah can make a can make a huge huge difference yeah, yeah. in soccer who's leading the way with this technology with the with the mastering of this new technology is there one trainer one team where you say no, those, those guys in that country uh, there are a few for, exa for example the young trainer of uh, hoffenheim uh nagelsmann he's yeah. using it like on the training sessions they like they have live feed about what they are doing and what they have to do so they have like big screens so they are able to 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 implement that during the training sessions but nowadays is now uh, five years before uh, ago it wasn't that you know that implemented but now everyone uses it in in, in germany in england as well they use it a lot and in spain they are it's getting better it's getting but better. you have to keep the balance huh because i'm sure some trainers will take it no, too no, far no, no. You need to it's not a computer game you know it's not a computer sure game some will lose this is not playstation <laughs> and there are so many factors so <laughs> you need to be able to to use it and yeah. but uh it's not it's not about that won't be the the difference it helps but it's not the one who has the better computers or the better software will win the game no but uh there is as well they are developing the artificial intelligence in football <laughs> yeah 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 there is they are they are building software that uh that reads the game and gives you tips about what has to be changed and maybe you as a coach you will have in in half time you will have like a report about uh normally when the, the game goes that that way uh, that will happen so you need to change those things but I, I I don't like that. I don't like that. But they are studying for that to for that to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's extreme. Huh? Yeah, that's extreme. That's extreme. But wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There is software that it's been created for that. But we will see if at at the moment we don't know yet if that's uh, that's useful. Mm. Um, just to to finish off, I wanted to ask two two uh, more entertaining things, which is uh, coming back to your old team, of course, England. So can Liverpool beat uh, 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 Pep with Man City to the championship? Do you think? Uh, they can beat. They yeah? can beat. Yeah, yes, they can beat. Do you think beat. they're gonna win? <laughs> it's gonna be so close because both are doing so so well. And I know Pep. I know how how well he's preparing the games. And each game is like the last game. <laughs> you know, he's really in into detail. And he's I don't know which opponent he has, but he knows everything about all the opponents already about his strategies his tactics his uh weaknesses so wow. he's he's very like very a great strategist of each game and and he puts so much effort on each game uh, and that's all about the the championship is all about that it's about each game each game each game it's not like champions league is you have just few games you need to be really regular and he's so good at that it's gonna be a but I'm sure I don't know that much Klopp, but whatever what he's doing is must be pretty good as well. Huh? Yeah, he must be really good. <laughs> I have played so many times against him, and I would have loved to 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 be coached by him. But but uh, I'm really happy that he's in Liverpool, top top manager, and he seems really like passionate mm. because he gets really close to the players. He's able to motivate them, but as well a good thinker of the game. So if I may ask, if you choose one, you say Liverpool. Yeah, of For course. I have to go with Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I really, really want. I yeah. really, really want because we have been chasing be it for that so long, that so would be long. Amazing, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how how much it means for for the for the club, for the supporters. So long without winning it. So, yes. And you think the same is possible for Champions League as well? You think yeah, yeah, realistically? Yeah, yeah. yeah they ha they can have because they can do it. They, they reach the final last year. Yeah. 
So now they they know how it feels to be there. Yeah. So they know it, but we will see. If they they play against Barca, it's gonna be a great great semi final to watch. I'm really looking forward to it. But even there, at the moment, you think you would put your money on Liverpool for the Champions League win? Champions League, yeah, <laughs> Champions League, it's still open. All right, thank you very much. That's uh, that's it. It was really nice to get an insight into your world. Yeah, I've never I've never had a conversation like that with int with someone from the soccer world. Yeah, in, yeah, in that yeah. Way. No, so my pleasure. That was nice. Nice to share. And I, I still have had a great career, great champion. So my respect as well. I'm still know. a little bit uh, not sure that you're such a machine. In that <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Take <laughs> it, take it in the right. Mentally, take it in the mentally. I'm quite, it in quite impressed. No, no. Take it in the right way. I mean, <laughs> I, somehow. Even if I don't feel it, I have to have somehow inside maybe fear. But yeah. uh, I think that to be able to to deal with the nerves and that to push you harder, yeah. uh, that's what I like it to to feel. I like to feel that. But no fear. Always go forward. Whatever happens, next. Well, yeah. that's a huge ingredient to success, huh? Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Always yeah. push into yeah, the difficulties. Yeah. Always next. Keep keep going. It's called uh, hustling. Yeah. Awesome. Always further yeah. and further. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a, right. the best way to the best way to improve. In the medium term, is a small dream just to end. Uh, is it would it be to be, be trainer at Re Real Sociedad? Is that something that yeah, you yeah, would yeah. have as a dream? Yeah, for yeah, the yeah. Medium term. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I will. I will love to start where I started, and now I am starting and preparing myself to to be, to be ready. Once I am I am ready, and you know th the club comes and we have share share feelings. Yeah, I would love. I will. I will love it. I would love to start with with Real Sociedad, continue Liverpool, Madrid, Bayern. That would be that. That would be <laughs> fantastic as well. And if I could repeat, if I could repeat, it would be great. And you're yeah. ready for such a hardcore because it's it's extreme, huh? The commitment. Yeah. It's exactly like no. being a player. M I think it's harder. Harder. I think it's harder oh, to, be to deal because you need to deal with more pressure. Yeah. I think that it's so focused on the manager. Yeah. That you need to physically, of course not, uh, af but you need to deal with to deal with the group, to deal with the with the media, with the fans, and the focus is on you. So I think that it's harder, but that's why I need to to feel it and to get ready. But yes, I will like it. I know. Very nice. Okay, so me and everybody who's listening wish you the all the best with that. Then we'll be thank you, Nico. We'll be watching. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time. It was <laughs> really uh, really we'll interesting. Repeat that when. When you train him, <laughs> yeah, then we repeat.